Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. So I have a new mystery box from Chi Yi. So let's take a look. Now I have an idea of what's inside here, but I don't know exactly what it is or what it's like. And, oh, there's two of them. Yep, that's what I thought. It's the new 5x5, five five, the, I believe pronounced, Wang. So you've got that right there. Focus, okay, Wang. yep. We have Matt's Volk on the side of this, and he's got a new cube coming out too that's a 3x3. Three three. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that one soon. Got the black, and, oh, ripped a box. Stickerless. Well, for the stickerless, let's look at these shades. So we've got the shades that we have on the X-Men Tornado and the new Thunderclap V2. Looks like these are kind of the same thing. Yep, and this orange and this red, it, it looks a bit different in the camera from right here, but this is definitely like a fluorescent orange and a just regular red. This contrasts very nicely. So as far as turning, it's quite fast and light. Let me just line this up again. Okay, it moves very well. So it's really fast. So fast that it's, I'm having trouble keeping it in control. I'll probably have to add a little bit of lube to actually slow it down. So it has these larger outer layers that we've seen on some of the newer cubes, like the Yushin and the Moryu. Corner cutting, just out of the box without adjusting tensions. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so this is what I really like to see. If I go too far, it's not like, it's not really getting jammed up. It's just kind of stopping where it, it's not going to cut, which I really like to see. Now this black one's a little bit, already has a little bit more lube in it, and yeah, that's a lot more controllable. Much more controllable. I'll do more of a comparison later on with the Boshwang and the Yushin and these other ones that are coming out, but this one already, I could tell, could easily be someone's main. It feels a lot like those other new ones, but it's quite a bit smoother and less, it's much less possible to misalign these things. But I'm just gonna mix this up actually. I'm gonna do a quick solve here. Probably won't show the full solve on camera. Okay, so I'm have to lube and tension this. This one already has a good amount of lube in it and feels a little bit nicer. I like the way this one feels. So I'll have to set this one up. Now, already, I like this. This, if I had to compete in 5x5, I'd probably use this one right away. It's quite fast. What I really like about it is it's, now that I'm actually able to control it a little bit more, but it doesn't misalign. It, it locks up if it does that, but it still corner cuts pretty well. Like that. There we go. So you can see what I mean by that. It feels very similar to a lot of the other 5x5s coming out. I'll get a full review of this soon, hopefully within about a week after I get time to break it in. So thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future and stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews. Oh, I was hoping there'd be more than one so I can make the joke that I've got part of the Wu Shuang clan here 
and I forgot to do that. So, ha, ah, 90s reference. 